The Trump administration's relief effort is a good news story. And how do I know? Because acting Homeland Security Secretary Elaine Duke said it was. It is really a good news story in terms of our ability to, to reach people and the limited number of deaths that have taken place in such a devastating hurricane. Yes, it's a good news story, like the Bernstein Bears and the limited number of deaths. <laughs> but not everyone got the good news story memo. Like Carmen Yulín Cruz, the mayor of San Juan, which is Spanish for Trump Hatersburg. Well, maybe from where she's standing, it's a good news story. When you're drinking from a creek, it's not a good news story. When you don't have food for a baby, it's not a good news story. Damn it, this is not a good news story. Look, look, Mayor, I understand your criticism. You feel this way because you're seeing it with your own two eyes. <laughs> but try to have some perspective. You can't see the forest for the trees, and you can't see the trees because they've been blown away by the hurricane. <laughs> Take it from someone who has a little bit of distance. In a series of tweets on Saturday, the president attacked San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulin Cruz for, quote, poor leadership ability, suggesting Democrats were telling her to be, quote, nasty to Trump. And he said the mayor and other leaders on the island, quote, want everything to be done for them. Yes, you want everything done for you like some privileged real estate developer's son. <laughs> the president is doing the best he can. Let's compare this to the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Back then, we took two days to send 8,000 troops. But with Puerto Rico, it's taken us eight days to send about half that. It proves that Trump is committed to taking his time and getting this right. <laughs> there can be no doubt, Trump is trying. But what do you want? He's doing his best. He's had a rough week. It was right. clearly a, a bad week for the president. Starting a culture war, using NFL players, a loser on health care, a loser on the Alabama Senate primary, a loser on hurricane response uh, in Puerto Rico. Now Tom Price, not a good week for President Trump. Price is paying the price, pun intended, because it's a bad week for Trump. President Trump is so defensive. He is so caught up in his own ego. Trump's ego is his strength, second only to his alpha handshake and sassy nicknames. <laughs> But more importantly, his ego is our North Star, and it has suffered this past week. And that's why now, more than ever, we Americans need to pull together and provide Trump ego relief. <laughs> President Trump is underwater. His ego has lost power, and people are saying he may not get that power back for months. <laughs> and now elected officials like Mayor Cruz are publicly criticizing Trump. You don't insult people when they are suffering through a crisis. That's not how a leader acts. <laughs> The fact is, Trump needs to hear some good news. But he's isolated in the Oval Office. Trump is an island. It's extremely difficult to deliver the praise and approval he needs for his ego to survive. As Americans, we must look out for those in need. And given everything that happened this past week, it's pretty clear Donald Trump is our neediest person. <laughs> what can we do? Good news. Relief efforts are already underway. Let's head over to citizen journalist Laura Gray. Laura. Jordan. All right, you've been in Washington, D.C., camped out at a relief center since this disaster began. How's the recovery going so far? Well, things are going well, Jordan. Though a lot of people are bringing unnecessary things like clothes and canned foods, which I keep screaming at them isn't helpful. <laughs> but luckily, some supporters are taking to Twitter, doing their best to rebuild Trump's ego. God bless the first retweeters. Yes. <laughs> yes, they've been... They've been working around the clock, that's for sure. Okay, so for everyone at home who wants to help, what can they do? Well, we're asking people to dig into their news feeds to donate anything to help rebuild Trump's self-esteem. <laughs> so if you have anything to offer, things like, oh, um, fawning Breitbart articles, <laughs> uh, electoral maps showing all the counties he won, <laughs> or even child-sized gloves that are labeled as adult size. <laughs> Tree. Yeah, thanks, Laura. Stay safe out there. We've got Kobe LeBee in the studio. Kobe, uh, how do we move forward from this national tragedy? It's time we focus on rebuilding Trump's infrastructure, Jordan. His critical support systems. <laughs> He's lost Bannon, Scaramucci, Tom Price, so many voices that protected him and kept his ego fortified. As he looks forward, Trump is going to have to build new emotional levees to keep all the good feelings in. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that Americans will keep Trump's ego in mind, not just now, during the worst of the fallout, but far into the future? Uh, it's tough to say, Jordan. 
I think that lots of people need to remember that just because Trump's ego doesn't have a star on the flag or isn't on any maps of the country or doesn't pay federal income tax, it's still <laughs> an American territory. And it's massive, Jordan. Yes, it sure is. Kobe Labee, Laura Gray, thank you.